Lala Kasai. Okay, let's join our shoulders now. So here we need to make sure that our V's are all aligned. So I'll um, put a stitch marker here. If you don't have one, um, you don't really have to, but it's just to know this is exactly where I'm ending my seam. So I've made sure that all my V's are aligned there. So this is how I'm gonna start there. So don't worry that you have a, a foundation chain here that uh, makes this side a bit longer than this side because when we do the arms and we put the sleeves in here, uh, we're gonna place the seam here. This is what we're gonna do um, our seam. So this is gonna disappear. So the technique that we're gonna use for this um, it's very similar to the one that we've used for um, to join both sides. Um, it's exactly the same that you use um, to join your sleeves. Because remember, we do the sleeves, uh, we crochet them flat and then we join them together. And um, it's very similar to that. But you have to go from the bottom to the top then here from the bottom to the top, and then we're gonna go back to the uh, same spot where we start from the bottom to the top. And um, by doing that, we're gonna, this is gonna allow us to um, have each row align um, to the one of the other side. Okay, let's start. And then I'm going back. To the same place where I started. Okay. So in here. I go from the bottom to the top. From the bottom to the top. And remember, we're going back to the same spot where we started. And by doing this, it allows us to align the Vs and the row in between the Vs together.
Anyway, you get the point by now. So the row in between the Vs with the row in between the Vs from the bottom to the top. And then I go back to the same row in between the Vs on this first side that I was working on. Then I go up and grab the Vs. Now on the other side, I also grab the Vs and then I go back to the first spot. And I continue doing this until I reach this point.